Hello, I'm very excited to uh, release my new book, Spatial Data Management with uh, DuckDB from uh, SQL Basics to Advanced uh, Geospatial Analytics. So this book stems from the course that I taught at the University of Tennessee uh, for the last couple of years. Uh, it's called Spatial Data Management Geography 414. Some of you uh, might have known this if you have been following my uh, YouTube videos. So this is the course that I talk um, about spatial data management with Google Sending with StackDB. And um, so finally, I have uh, final time to put everything together and explain uh, a lot more on the content like I talk uh, in the course into a new book. And so the URL is duckdb.gshub.org. Um, the link is also in the video description. You can follow through. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started. I'm also going to show you some demos. Uh, if you're interested in uh, purchase the book, right now uh, it's available on Amazon, uh, full color print, and also available as a PDF. So you can check out Amazon if you want to buy a hard copy uh, from here. Um, so I just released it uh, yesterday. And uh, well, in terms of the PDF, you can uh, purchase it from uh, LinkPub, also available from here. And for the content, all the core examples, they are freely available. So you don't technically have to buy the book. Uh, you can just follow the core examples. But if you want to see the full uh, content, the images, figures, tables, then I will encourage you to uh, purchase the book. But uh, all the materials are available on the website. It's also available on GitHub. So if you click the link in the uh, button here at the top and then go to the Geek, uh, report, uh, GitHub repository, this shows you all the content. So you're welcome to clone this one to your computer if you want to get all the content uh, all at once. Or uh, you can run it, just run it using Binder or Google Collect by clicking the link here. And I'm going to show you here on this website. So you can just right click open in uh, Jupyter Hub or you can open in Google Collab. So either way is fine. Google Collab, basically you need to try uh, individual ones. So click on each notebook. Uh, it's going to pop up here, allows you to select any of those uh, from the book. So you can click individual one, then you can run through them. Again, this only contains the uh, core examples uh, for the full text is available in the PDF. Uh, so right now, uh, uh, the PDF is, you see here, is over, um, 441 pages and let me quickly show you the content so we're going to cover from the beginning how to set up duckdb and then how to install uh, the environment and then you can use the uh, sql statement so we can use python so chapter two is about um using the sql um, um, directly not using python and then after uh, chapter three we cover how to use python set up the python environment then we cover for example spatial operations you can also see that from the website here, we have basically three uh, sections. The first one is just covering the foundations. And then the second one is uh, all kinds of spatial operations, how to input the data, how to export the data, and then how to do geometric uh, operations. For example, also spatial join, uh, also how to visualize the data interactively. And most of these features basically uh, uses, uh, 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 use the, the Python package leaf map that I created. They already had a lot of functionality for you to interact uh, we start db and also how to visualize data directly uh, from duck db without having to uh, export the data so it's very powerful it's basically working with large vector data set this is uh, some of the techniques you might want to use and the last section is about um, geospatial analytics using a big data set i cover uh, the national wetlands inventory the global building footprint and also the nyc taxi data the last section covers uh, um, the creating interactive apps using DuckDB and also LeafMap. So if you want to make your resource more accessible, this also be very useful. I'll show you shortly how to uh, do it. And so let me go back to the book here. Uh, like I said, we have uh, three sections and a uh, lot of figures, images. So you're welcome to check out the links. I can maybe show you some of those. For example, in terms of interactive visualization, you can see I show you how to uh, access data, visualize data directly from the database. And there are a lot of like large scale data set, uh, especially, for example, uh, building data set, for example, you can um, go through that. I also show how to aggregate data using uh, grid. So you can have rectangular grid to analyze the data, or you can also maybe use a, a H3 hexagon grid, right, to aggregate global data. So this is data set, for example, uh, over 200 
uh, 30 gigabyte of data. We can you analyze that using just a laptop and we can create this kind of a, a heat map or density map to showcase. In this case, is the building couch of each S3 hexagon on the earth. You can also visualize it in 3D, something like this. So uh, very, very powerful. This is not something you can easily do using other uh, software. And with StuckDB, it's very, very uh, powerful. And lastly, I also show, for example, how to uh, create interact web app uh, using Voila and also Solara. So you can move things from your Jupyter notebook into, uh, into web applications that other people can uh, access. And so let me show you here. Uh, if you want to try it out, uh, you can follow the uh, the book here. And I can show you, for example, I deploy the uh, app on Hugging Face. It's free. So you can deploy it in two ways. Either Voila. So this is basically just turning the notebook into a web app. Let me see. I need to refresh it. And so you can put all kind of notebooks in here. Then you can send the link to other people. They can open the link. And then they can try out your stuff. So it's going to load up the notebook and then it's going to execute all the content. After that, it's going to just show the map that allows you to interact. So this is similar to what I showed you like uh, earlier in the in the map. And so here, this is just a simple um, map. And what you can do is to um, analyze global building footprint count um, by location. So for example, here, I'm interested in this particular region. I can just click right here to draw a rectangle somewhere here let me zoom in a little bit so i can maybe say i want to analyze europe so i can draw a rectangle and then just stop click after you're done then you can click this apply button to apply so under the hood is going to um, retrieve the data using that db and then create this kind of 3d visualization so it's pretty quick like take only seconds um, to pull the data and then um, uh, so the 3d visualization you are welcome to customize the color everything so this is all very customizable so i can change the color map for example to something else uh, let me maybe show you the cool one you can also change the uh, classes i can change it maybe to 10 classes right and it's you can see it's pretty responsive this is using a 3d uh, you can also use 2d so for example i can use the just the hexagon you can also add the hexagon line but I don't, I don't want the 3D, then it's just going to be 2D. So it's going to show you something like this. Um, very, very powerful. So certainly DuckDB allows you to analyze data at scale. So you can create uh, scalable applications uh, at the global. And besides the Jupyter Notebook, I can also turn it into um, um, using Solara into a kind of a native web app, not just a notebook. And so this one allows you to have multiple pages. Uh, for example, I can create a web like this and so this one is very much similar i can maybe draw a rectangle somewhere here uh, if i want to maybe analyze things at a global scale i can draw something like this and then on the right here i can either create a 3d map or i can use a 2d map so and then just click apply uh, within a couple of seconds it's going to put the data and then um, plot everything on the map so of course the, if the area is larger it's going to take a little bit longer if your area is smaller, it's going to be faster. So think about you can host all the data in the cloud and then you can use uh, DuckDB to actually pull and visualize. So it's done. Now I can uh, delete the polygon. So take a look. These are the result of analyzing 200 gigabyte of global building footprint data. But this one is pre-computed, but you can use DuckDB using a laptop to do that. And I can switch to maybe to uh, global, for example, something like this. I will create another video so you can in detail how to create an app like this, but I'm just showing you the some of the demos that uh, created using the, the app. And so you can visualize, you can zoom in, you can see all the um, the global um, building count. So the brighter color means you have more buildings in that particular hexagon on the, uh, on the map. So this is kind of similar to the uh, urban clusters. So you have brighter color, that means a lot, a lot, of, a lot of big uh, mega cities. Uh, in those regions uh, you you can also change that to uh, 3d so if you want i can maybe also draw a rectangle somewhere here and so it's going to query this region and then to generate the 3d uh, okay it's done and take a look i can also switch to 3d so this is just some of the simple applications of course you can do a lot more essentially we use DuckDB to analyze your data um, 
at national or regional scale. And once you have the result, then we can pull the data from DuckDB either by exporting the data and then you can plot the data on the map or you can actually read the data directly. So in the book, I also cover how to um, stream the data directly from DuckDB. So this is something very new. Uh, I just you know, integrated a couple of weeks ago and it was not available like in the past, not possible in the past because DuckDB doesn't support vector tile uh, and not supporting vector tile until very uh, recently. So uh, chapter 10 is about that, how to read data directly from uh, DuckDB and then how to stream large amount of data without having to export the data. So it makes it really, really efficient. So I can um, re, um, stream data like gigabyte of data directly from DuckDB without having to uh, export the data. Of course, you're welcome to also to uh, export the data if you want to host it somewhere. Um, so that's kind of the sneak peek into the book. Uh, like I said, you're welcome to try out all the noble examples here that all the source code are all freely available. And if you want to get the full content, uh, you're welcome to purchase the uh, hard copy, uh, full, full color print copy from Amazon or the PDF uh, from there. And so I'm going to create a series of videos showing you how to utilize some of these resources. And I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions, you're welcome to check out the GitHub repository. So you can ask questions here. Just go to the discussion tab. You can ask questions here. If you find any bugs, you're welcome to uh, submit a bug report or um, which request using GitHub. And uh, let's see, anything else? Yeah, that's all I want to show you. Uh, like I said, feel free to try out the content and I look forward to your uh, feedback. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. See you next time.